There are decals in a software library that are used to place an extra texture on the models. We go into the objects section and then decal section. As you can see, there are different types of them here. All of them have sitting that we will explain one by one based on the types and the environments of use. We start from the top and insert one by one and explain the important sitting and points. For example, zebra crossing. We insert it by clicking and dragging a reason scene as, I can, as you can see they can place on the ground even on the wall by clicking and dragging they can move and rotate easily like other objects in software as you can see they are move one other object we can if we want to have some of them we can copy them by holding a shift and dragging on a desired axe release mouse and but be sure to be in a instance mode because for example if you want to reduce the opacity of one of them every decals will change together this is important so do not copy them just instance them okay there are other type of traffic signs as you can see bus bicycle arrows okay now we insert this double line marking and place it on this cube as you can see it passes under the cube if we want to pass over it we must increase the offset number as you can see the dimensions of the decal increased and the cube was placed in it another important example for offset it is now we search the library and insert graffiti 9 for example find it and place it on this curved wall as you can see it did not fit correctly to get it right we need to increase the offset number to increase the dimension of the decal and place the desired object inside it so that the decal is projected correctly on the surface very easy For choosing decals, you have to choose this sign and click on it. Okay. As you can see, we still have another type of decals. And here you can even easily insert manhole type and sievers. Choose one of them and put on the previous decals well as you can see putting the two decal together we have to change the sort order number to determine which one is above and which one is below because there are two decals here we put one of them number one and one of them number two so the number two is placed above the number one very easy so if you have three decals the number three is placed above all okay now go to the last part of the decal library and as you can see there are two decals called shadow square decal and shadow round decal these are used to create a shadow where the software itself could not create a right shadow due to special conditions for example, in this table, which may, is made from glass, it's made of grass, glass, and the shadow is not created correctly by itself. Select the shadow round and move it to the right place of shadow. 
according to the sun. Now we want to resize it to fit it. If we increase or decrease the scale, it works by considering the aspect ratio. Click more for more setting. Now you can change the height and width as you like. Okay, we change it to fit the scale up table. Okay, these decals, shadow decals are very useful. Remember them. Okay, use this arrow to back the sitting. And in opacity, we can fade the shadow a little. You can see the opacity. And click more for more sitting. And in the sharpness, you can uh, determine the sharpness of the edges, as you can see, the edge of shadow. Okay, going back to decal library and search a road damage on asphalt. As you can see, these are road damage. Okay, choose one of the road damage. As you can see, it has a 3D look and it is due to bump map. Click the setting to access more settings. I will be teach all these in detail in future lessons in a material section. Don't worry. If you, but they are very easy. If you reduce the bump number, the decal becomes 2D lock, as you can see. So the bump is for making the decal 3D. If you change the light, you can see that the direction of the shadow inside the decal change. It's very beautiful. Okay. Back to the decal library and water puddle. Find them and use them. And see now, as you can see, it simulates wet and rainy roads and puddles. And uh, increase its scale in sitting. And we can see it in different direction, as you can see. In a sitting, and a reflection, you can set the amount of reflection. The point is that to better apply the environmental reflection, we have to insert a reflection prop, which will be explained in a separate lessons, don't worry. But it is very simple and easy. Go back to library and go to the tool, in the tool section, it's down here. And then reflection props and select a box prop. Put it on a puddle and increase its scale. As you can see, it calculate and create a reflection completely around the object of the item inside the box. You can see the difference between, uh, you can see the difference by enabling or disabling it. It's very beautiful. Okay, well, I went back to the decals. Uh, other type of decal are used to create dirt and damage to the wall, as you can see. Find them and you can use them on this wall. Very easy. Okay, the next point is to place a decal on other objects. There are two general cases of the object that we insert from the software library itself. For example, this boss, or you can, as you can see, you can, for example, choose one of the decal and try to put it on a bus. And you cannot, unfortunately, but if we import a model from a system, from, for example, this car, you can easily put a decal on it. For example, a graphic decal on it. 
you just need to increase the offset to apply it correctly as before now we want to create a custom decal what we should do first we have to choose a decal that has only one texture and does not have bump or other items for example this graphic uh, decal one of them and in a texture and open and you can select your desired texture on your system and import it for example i can insert one of these flags now we need to save it so we can use it again later in a scene manager right click on it find it and right click on it and then add to user library now go back to library and our decal is here unfortunately it displays very bad and the software couldn't display it well we hope this issue will be resolved in the future in future versions versions anyway by uh, right clicking on it you can change its name and place it on the objects wherever you want and use it later again okay going back to decal and we insert a decal in sitting there is an option called glow which if increase its number it becomes luminous object that has light at night going to the night as you can see it glow will be explain this glow option in separate lesson don't worry just increase the number and it's close and metalness option is also used to create a metallic state on the decal decal very simple and easy okay it is all about decals Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.